On this episode of Stack Chat, Spotify infrastructure engineer Matt Brown talks about how his team approached the move to Google Cloud and Kubernetes. Uh, thanks for joining me, Matt. So I want you to tell me at first just how is Spotify using GCP behind the scenes a little bit? So at Spotify, we use what feels like um, every part of GCP in some area of Spotify. Um, and we've moved over the past couple of years really everything we do to GCP. Um, so we use products on the data side, Bigtable, CloudSQL, uh, BigQuery, PubSub, um, for many things. The area that I work in, uh, which is infrastructure for backend services, historically we use a lot of Google Compute Engine, but that's moving mostly over to Kubernetes Engine now. And then you had to choose between Kubernetes and managed Kubernetes on GCP. So we'll, how did that choice play out for you? So really, as we were starting to think and plan for when do we want to move to Kubernetes, we were already moving away from having our own data centers to running pretty much everything in Google Cloud. So the idea of setting up our own Kubernetes clusters, learning how to manage the networking, all of those things, just never really sounded very appealing to us. Uh, the big promise for Google Cloud for us is all of the managed services we can use, and then our engineers can kind of move up a layer in what we're worrying about and not worrying about the low layer things so much. So a managed service like GKE was really perfect for us. So what other kinds of benefits did your engineering teams get then from making that shift? So a huge one is that in our, our current platform in Helios, it's not very easy to do auto scaling. Um, so teams tend to have to do capacity planning every once in a while, figure out um, how many virtual machines what they need for peak traffic, something like that. And then as a result, we are most teams are over-provisioned for a large amount of the time. So auto-scaling helps a lot with that because not only can they respond to um, shifts in traffic a lot more faster, um, but they also just don't have to be over-provisioned and, and using so many resources. As you're making this transition, how does the system handle failure or degradation of any of the infrastructure or pieces? So we use uh, regional clusters in GKE, so we can be um, deployed across many zones. Uh, Spotify runs across three different regions um, in GCP, so we're kind of just relying on those primitives in a way for, for that type of reliability. Um, and then we also, as an infrastructure team, do a lot of practicing around, let's think of a possible disaster, um, somebody deleting a cluster in the cloud console on accident, let's say. Let's practice those things um, to make sure we have good playbooks, we know how to recover, we can catch those with alerts, because we figure eventually it's gonna happen in production anyway, so why not give us a chance to practice it? Are there other things that you could have done or encouraged others to do that would have sped up this change? I would say um, one thing that we found out in doing this, going through this whole process, that we were a little bit pleasantly surprised at is we didn't have to do as much evangelizing or motivation or um, having like a carrot and stick to tell people you need to move to Kubernetes. Most engineering teams were really excited and one thing that we found worked the best was we had a group of engineers who weren't on the infrastructure team, they were just early adopters and they did a lot of work in talking to other engineers, um, writing blog posts, giving talks at an internal conference we have to motivate other people. So one thing that I think we could have done a little bit more of um, was just trying to build more of those sort of like champions or evangelists. It was a really pleasant surprise, but we could have always had more. Awesome. Well, it sounds like you're on the way, and I look forward to hearing more about it as you get closer and closer to your goal. Thanks very much for joining me today. Thanks for having me. If you enjoyed this episode, check out the Stack Chat playlist for more videos.